I found out about my wife's emotional and physical affair back in June. I believe since then, I have been doing everything wrong, except for the parts of seeing a therapist. We have been married almost five years, together for over ten. Before we got married five years ago, we had two children, five and three. In the beginning of our relationship, I wasn't the best partner. My eyes would always wander to each female's, but I never had any physical affair. My wife would always cry and get jealous because she knew about my past. I'm not trying to brag, but I used to be a ladies' man back then. I was fit and muscular, but ever since we got married and had kids, the stress of work and life got to me. I lost the motivation to stay in shape. I gained over 60 pounds, and I wasn't the confidence guy that I used to be. I always felt like my wife wanted me to be overweight and stressed because she was always concerned that I would leave her for someone else. I love her, and I committed myself to her. I became the regular next door neighbor with the two-car garage. More time spent at work than at home. You know, the American dream. At first, everything was going fine, but slowly, our ex-life started dwindling, almost a dead bedroom status. We became distant. We tried several things to spice up our marriage, even talked about trying marriage canceling. My wife, on the other hand, is still very attractive. Before we met, she had a lot of male suitors and orbiters that constantly give her validation and attention. But at the end, she chose me. It began like how most affair probably starts now, through Facebook. A guy that always held a flame for her and that she just didn't treat right. It got to the point that he blocked her and didn't talk to her for over six or seven years. They started talking again, and I was unaware of all of this, except for the fact that she said he messaged her. I didn't even blink. She was my wife, and she's been there for me for better and a whole lot worse. Over the next few months, she started to develop feelings for him. Now is a good time to mention that he lives six hours in another state. One day, she planned to go out to his area, and go through some things his family removed from an old church. That's when she made her move. It was only a kiss. When she came back, she didn't say anything, nor did I suspect anything. It was until three weeks later that she wanted to go back out there. I remember asking her mundane questions and how she got defensive about it, saying it was nothing. She went on trips always and took our oldest with her. When she returned, she called me while I was at work to discuss about the whole situation. I knew what was going on just by the week's message, an affair partner following along on a car trip. When I finally confronted her about my suspicion, she blamed it on me. Her words cut deep. She brought back all the memories of who I was before we got married. She said I mentally abused her. She said that all those times she cried and I just stood there chasing after other women. Said that all the times I never supported her, trying to gaslight me like it was all my fault that I had suspicion of her affair. I should have seen this coming, but I didn't. I told her that I have proven to be a changed man since we got married five years ago. I asked her why she married me if I was such a terrible person, but she kept saying that I was playing mind games. I did everything she asked of me after we married. I focused on work, on our marriage, and children. I forgot all my womanizing ways, became the man I thought she wanted me to be. So I didn't know what to do. I can't really think of divorce. Cause I'm not ready for it. With my current job, managing custody of my children would be difficult. I am currently in an overbearing job. So my job schedule does not allow me to have shared custody as I travel regularly for work and I'm usually gone during the week. I have been trying to talk her into going to individual counseling. She kept coming up with excuses about not having time because of the children. She refuses to do remote therapy for privacy. I even went as far as printing out all the licensed therapists within 10 miles of our area. She took it as I was saying she was having mental health issues. To make matters worse, I couldn't believe she went as far as introducing the rest of our children to him and his family, planning my replacement as she continued to deny the affair. She also said she was willing to work on our marriage, and we went to one counseling session so far, but she didn't stop seeing her affair partner. She kept talking to him even though she got him to stop talking about moving in together and getting married. She still had feelings for him, and those feelings detect how she goes through with our marriage. I have been trying up until a few months ago when she confused me by sending me a home listing, beautiful home, enough space to fit our children, and activities, and well within the budget. I looked it up and asked her which city it is near. 
She says it's close to an airport, so my job will allow me to live there. I said that it's closer to him, and she lost it. She kept up with the argument, me being squirmy and erratic, during this ordeal. This wasn't the first time of this argument. I stood there and smirked, then asked her not to come home that night. Actually, stay away until the following Monday. After the girls go to bed, she ran right to him, said she still isn't doing anything physical with him because she's confused. I told her what I did with the children while she was gone. I decided that since she's checked out of the marriage and not willing to reconcile in good faith, that I should move on as well. Then she proceeded to tell me she wants a legal Zoom no contest divorce. In this no contest, she will get half of what the already drained bank account is, half the proceed of the house, and half my 401k. Oh, she wants her business account to be off limits. I balked at the notion and then the fireworks flew. She went off saying everyone warned her and she should have known that I wasn't going to play nice. That was fun to hear. We then talk about separations and grand rules. I told her to come up with one she feels is necessary. I felt emasculated and a total failure. I scheduled some individual counseling session, decided to start going to the gym and eating healthy. Realizing that all this time I have been slaving myself to my job to provide for my family and kids, doing what I felt would make her happy. But instead, she's planning on leaving me for a guy that she wouldn't give a time of the day before we got married. The first therapist I went to advised me to kill her with kindness. But my wayward wife was unresponsive to that. And if she was, she didn't let me in on it. Therapy has helped me with my emotional distancing and allowed me to open up to my wife, children, and others that are close to me. It has helped me from being short-tempered to having patience with my children and others that I interact with. Although the first therapist helped unwind all the negative emotions, the second therapist directed me to focus on myself and what makes me happy. He told me that I have already lost my wife and that she's gone and that if I get my mind right, everything around me will fall into place. I felt like the therapist was speaking in riddles, but I interpreted it in my own way. I have already gotten back to the gym. I'm ready to just walk away and file a divorce. The more I try to reconcile, the more she pulls away from me. So I have to cut through all this fog and distortion. Two weeks of therapy have gotten my head right. I have been working out regularly. Cut down my hours at work and travel. Told my boss that I would no longer be able to travel as before. Of course, this means less money. But I have sacrificed so much to my wife and to provide for my family. And the American dream has turned into a nightmare. So I started hanging out with a mutual friend that I have known for 20 years along with her daughter. The kids were playing and having a good time. My wife assumed I was lining up someone for when our marriage finally crumbles. She came home one night and immediately started ripping into me, accusing me of playing head games. One was because I was hanging out with a mutual friend who was female, and the other is because I have started dating multiple women again. I asked her why she was concerned about my dating life when she had destroyed our family, already planning on divorcing me, and is already cheating on me with another man. The nerves on her to think that she can control my dating life Why cheating on me. Now who is playing the head game? When she saw that I already moved on with my life and I had emotionally disconnected from the relationship, she started to change her tone on couples therapy. I told her that I have been trying to work on our marriage, but she continued on with her affair. Now that I'm getting on with my life, she's now willing to go to couples therapy? I had a meeting on Tuesday with a lawyer and a legal aide to go over how to protect me and my assets. I am ready to just walk away and file for divorce. So after the meeting with a divorce lawyer, seems like she'll be taking me to the cleaners on the divorce. I will be losing half my 401k. She will get primary custody and half the equity on my house that I owned outright before we even got married. Nothing has been finalized yet. She cheated on me and carried on an affair with another guy and I have to pay the consequences. Something really feels wrong about that. I have started dating again and I feel a lot happier. I want to get the divorce over with so we can live our lives in peace. Last week, I was on a date with a female and my soon-to-be ex-wife had the nerves to show up at the date and started harassing me and the female like I was cheating on her. Mind you, at this point, we have already signed a divorce agreement and she have already decided to take me to the cleaners. I asked her how she knew where I was. Come to find out she had installed a GPS on my car to track my location. I accuse her of stalking me, and if she pulls that silly stunt again, 
I would get a restraining order on her. She wanted to have it both ways. She then wanted us to start corporal's therapy. While she already signed the divorce paper and was still dating her affair partner and was telling me they are thinking about buying a home together. I know, right? Crazy stunt. And I declined. I have checked out of the marriage and I'm not interested in whatever game she's playing. Come to find out, after dating the other guy for a few months, he moved in with her in a brand new home. She introduced our kids to him. The ink on our divorce paper haven't even dried yet. Four months later, she broke things off with him and he moved out. She said that she may have made a mistake and she still loves me. I told her she wanted to play games with our life and the life of our children. She said that she only wanted me to pay attention to her and that I have become less caring and more focused on work. One month before the judge finalized the divorce paper and agreed on asset allocation and custody, she called me saying that she had broken off things with her affair partner and wanted to cancel the divorce agreement. And she wanted us to be back the way we used to be and that I was working less hours now. And that was what she always wanted. I reminded her that the reason I was working so hard is to provide for my family. I committed myself to her, but in return, she started cheating on me. I am working less hours because I have the kids 40% of the time. I told her I'm living life on my own terms. I was working more hours because I wanted us to retire early and have a good life. Now that we are divorced, I'm working less, spending more time with my kids and taking care of my health. And I'm freer, plus I have time to date casually and happier and she doesn't like it. Thanks for staying till the end of this video. Please like and subscribe. Please feel free to express your opinion on the comment section. Thank you and have a wonderful day.